The Mbemba effect is a curious phenomenon where under certain conditions, hot water freezes faster than cold water. Although it sounds counterintuitive, numerous experiments have documented this effect and spurred debates about its underlying causes. One commonly discussed explanation is evaporation. Hot water tends to evaporate more rapidly than cold water, which can reduce the volume of liquid that needs to be frozen. For example, in a controlled experiment, a container of hot water might lose 10 to 15 percent of its mass through evaporation before freezing begins, leaving less water to cool. This reduction in volume can mean that the remaining water reaches the freezing point more quickly. Could the evaporation process account for the Mbemba effect? In many cases, it contributes significantly, although it may not explain all observed instances. Another factor involves the development of convection currents. In hot water, vigorous convection helps distribute heat evenly throughout the liquid, potentially speeding up the cooling process. For instance, if you observe a pot of boiling water, you can see strong currents that carry heat from the center to the edges. When this water is cooled, those same currents can promote uniform cooling, allowing the water to reach freezing temperatures more rapidly than colder water, where convection is much weaker. How do these currents make a difference? They help minimize temperature gradients within the container, ensuring that no region lags behind in cooling. The role of dissolved gases also appears to be important. Heating water expels dissolved gases, which might influence how the water freezes. For example, experiments have shown that degassed water, water that has been boiled and then cooled, sometimes freezes faster than water with a normal gas content. The absence of these gases could reduce the tendency of the water to supercool, Supercooling is a state in which water cools below its normal freezing point without forming ice. If hot water is less prone to supercooling after being heated, it may start freezing as soon as it reaches zero DC, whereas cold water might remain liquid even below this temperature. <laughs> there are additional experimental examples that add to our understanding. In one series of tests, Researchers used identical containers filled with water at different initial temperatures and placed them in a freezer with a constant cooling rate. They observed that, under certain conditions, the water that started hotter began to form ice crystals sooner than the cooler sample. Another example comes from outdoor studies during winter where water left in the open sometimes froze faster when it had been preheated. These observations suggest that environmental factors such as container shape, airflow, and ambient humidity also influence the outcome. A more unconventional example involves the material of the container. Some experiments have compared how the Impemba effect manifests in glass versus metal containers. Metal, with its higher thermal conductivity, can accelerate the cooling of hot water more effectively, sometimes enhancing the effect. In contrast, glass tends to insulate the water slightly, which might reduce the speed at which hot water loses heat. Could the type of container be a key factor? Indeed, it appears that not only the water itself, but also the experimental setup, including the container's properties, plays a crucial role. The effect has been observed under laboratory conditions and in natural settings, yet not every experiment yields the same results. Variations in water purity, initial temperature differences, and even the method of cooling such as forced air versus natural convection can all influence whether hot water will freeze faster than cold water. How do these variables interact? They create a complex interplay where slight changes in one factor can tip the balance in favor of or against the Mpemba effect. Ultimately, the Mbemba effect reminds us that even familiar phenomena like water freezing can involve intricate processes. The combined influence of evaporation, convection, changes in dissolved gases, and environmental factors creates a rich tapestry of interactions that scientists continue to unravel. Will further research eventually pinpoint a single cause? While it remains a topic of debate, the consensus is that multiple factors work together to produce this unexpected behavior. The Mpembe effect describes the counterintuitive observation that, under certain conditions, hot water can freeze faster than cold water. This phenomenon has been observed anecdotally for centuries and was formally documented in the 1960s. Researchers have investigated various mechanisms to explain why water at a higher temperature, despite numerous studies, a single universally accepted explanation has not yet been established. In a controlled experiment, a sample of hot water placed in a freezer might reach the freezing point before a sample of cold water under identical conditions.
It's like watching a fast runner unexpectedly beat a slower one, challenging our assumptions about starting speed and final outcomes. Historical records show that the Impemba effect has been noted by scientists and laypeople alike, sparking curiosity and debate over the centuries. Early observers, including ancient scholars, remarked on the phenomenon without fully understanding its causes. This effect has driven scientific inquiry into the fundamental properties of water and phase transitions. It continues to be a subject of rigorous study and critical evaluation in modern thermodynamics. A historical account from the medieval period described how warm water appeared to freeze more quickly than cold water, inspiring later scientific experiments. It's like reading an old mystery novel that hints at an unsolved secret, which later inspires modern detectives to investigate further. One proposed explanation for the Impemba effect is that hot water evaporates more rapidly, reducing the overall volume that needs to freeze. The loss of water mass through evaporation can accelerate the cooling process. However, while evaporation contributes to the effect, it does not fully account for all observed cases. Critical studies suggest that evaporation is one of several factors influencing the outcome. In an experiment, a container of hot water may lose a significant portion of its mass through evaporation before freezing, thereby freezing faster than a larger volume of cold water. It's like packing a suitcase with fewer items. There's less to carry, making it easier and faster to transport. Convection currents in hot water can lead to a more uniform cooling process, which may contribute to faster freezing. These currents enhance heat transfer throughout the liquid, allowing the water to cool more rapidly. In contrast, colder water may have less vigorous convection, resulting in slower overall cooling. This mechanism works in tandem with other factors to potentially explain the Mbemba effect. When hot water is placed in a freezer, the strong internal convection currents can quickly distribute the heat, leading to an even and faster reduction in temperature. It's like stirring a hot soup to cool it down uniformly compared to a cold soup that is left unstirred and cools slowly. Supercooling occurs when water cools below its freezing point without turning into ice, and differences in nucleation dynamics may influence the Mpemba effect. Hot water may have fewer impurities and dissolved gases, which can reduce the likelihood of supercooling and promote earlier ice formation. In contrast, colder water might remain in a supercooled state longer if nucleation sites are scarce. This interplay between supercooling and nucleation is a critical area of investigation in understanding the effect. Experiments have shown that hot water sometimes begins to freeze suddenly once a nucleation event occurs, whereas cold water can remain liquid below zero DFC. It's like a seed that suddenly germinates when conditions are just right, while similar seeds may take much longer to sprout if the soil lacks the necessary triggers. The concentration of dissolved gases and impurities in water can affect its freezing behavior by influencing nucleation processes. Hot water, when cooled, tends to release some of these gases, potentially reducing barriers to ice formation. This degassing effect may lower the degree of supercooling and help trigger freezing earlier. However, the influence of dissolved substances is complex and varies with water source and treatment. Water that has been boiled and cooled often freezes more readily than untreated water, partly due to the loss of dissolved gases. It's like cleaning a surface before painting. Removing impurities allows the paint or ice to adhere more uniformly and quickly. The shape and material of the container, as well as ambient conditions like airflow and temperature, can significantly affect the rate of heat loss in water. Different containers may promote varied evaporation rates and convection currents, influencing the freezing process. Environmental factors, such as the uniformity of the freezer temperature, also play a role in the observed Mbemba effect. Rigorous testing under controlled conditions is necessary to isolate these variables and understand their contributions. In controlled studies, identical volumes of hot and cold water placed in the same type of container can freeze at different rates depending on subtle differences in container geometry and environmental exposure. It's like baking cookies in different shapes of pans. Each pan can affect how quickly the cookies bake, even with the same recipe and oven temperature. Despite numerous experimental observations, the Mbembe effect remains controversial due to inconsistencies and challenges in reproducibility. Scientific rigor demands that hypotheses are tested under controlled conditions with careful documentation of all variables. 
Critics argue that without standardized methods, results may vary widely, making the effect difficult to confirm. Ongoing research seeks to clarify these variables and determine whether the effect is universally applicable or context-dependent. Some experiments replicate the Impemba effect under specific conditions, while others fail to observe it, highlighting the need for precise control and reporting of experimental parameters. It's like trying to replicate a complex recipe. If one ingredient or cooking condition varies slightly, the final dish can taste completely different, making consistency crucial. Future investigations into the Mpembe effect aim to develop more comprehensive theoretical models that incorporate factors such as evaporation, convection, supercooling, and dissolved gases. Advanced computational simulations and controlled experiments are essential to tease apart the interplay of these factors, enhancing our understanding of heat transfer and phase transitions in liquids and contributing to broader fields like thermodynamics and material science. As experimental techniques improve, scientists hope to resolve the controversies and determine the precise conditions under which the effect occurs. New studies may utilize high-speed cameras and precise temperature sensors to capture the rapid changes in water as it cools and freezes, providing clearer insights into the underlying mechanisms. It's like using a state-of-the-art cooking timer and thermometer to perfect a recipe. More precise tools allow you to understand exactly when and how each ingredient reaches its ideal state.